All right. What you're looking at is my first attempt at a blind contour that I forgot to push video. So now we're going to do a video of blind contour, but you'll see what it looks like at the end. So what you're going to do is look at your hand, try to have a natural pose, work both inside and outside edges. So I'm going to go ahead and start towards the base. When you do a blind contour, you want to continue all the way around the outside edges, but also include inside planes. When you're working a blind contour, that means you're looking at the object that you're drawing and not at the paper. It doesn't mean your eyes are closed. Work all the way through everything that you see. There's just a couple rules to a blind contour. One, don't really worry about the pro product. Think about the process. Work through the object all the way through every line that you see. Do not pick up the pen or the pencil, whatever you're drawing with. I want you to draw with ink. Ink is the best thing because you won't be able to erase. This is kind of like your math teacher. Show all your work. As you see, I'm going, I'm working all the way down the edges and through. I have to kind of get back up and to, and I'm just going to crisscross because I know I have some other fingers over here to do. When you do get kind of lost, just kind of go back to where you were, trace through the outside edges. Do not worry too much about where things are. Now, one of the things I want to think about is what's happening in the ridges and the cross areas. Working through, under, over, around, looking more of where the hand connects to the object. What I'm working for now is the inside edges and the outside edges. And I'm continuing my way all the way through. I may have lost an area or two. As you start to look at it, you're going to be able to see that I pay close attention to the different parts of the hand. I'm going to ask that you do three on the same page. You may turn your page and create another one. This time I might pose my hand a little bit more towards me and think a little bit more towards the inside. For this early skill, I'm going to ask that you not make any gestures, symbols, or signs. I think that's the most difficult way to work when you're trying to do a peace sign or do any order other object or gesture that you could do. Obviously some of them you don't need to be doing, but you need to think through what's happening with the edges of the hand or the eye. Now this is kind of a quick exercise. A blind contour is not intended as a contest piece. It's intended as an activity to get you started into looking. What is your eye doing like a cursor in a video game? eye hand coordination. As my eye moves over the outside edges, my hand will move to where my eye is going on the outside tracing of the image that I'm looking at. So it's basically a tracing, but you're not looking at what you're doing in that process of the tracing. If you can play a video game and move a cursor on the screen, you can do a blind contour. Oh, I kind of get off the page, so I know I'm doing a pretty good job there. We're going to go ahead and do one more on the same page. I may just rotate it one more time. And again, maybe pick up a different color. Many of you have a lot of multiple inks and in different colors, and this could be a really interesting drawing. Maybe this time, I don't want to lurk from the back. The back makes for a turkey hand, and we're going to avoid that. But I might go ahead and curve in from the side because I have just a little space at the top. So I'm going to draw one more. And I do want three on your page. Draw large, draw as large as you can, because we'll come back and do something interesting with this. The hand is a practice, and then we're going to do three self-portraits and put them together into a composition where we come back and do line variety. This will become a very interesting line painting when we're finished. Okay, one of the rules I said was don't erase and don't pick up your pen. I got to the top of the paper, so I have to kind of pick my pen up. And don't worry about it too much. Right now it's process, not the product. That means I'm stressing over where my eye and my hand are going together, not so much about what I'm seeing. Be careful about loop-to-loop -loop fingers. Don't do that. We'll look at that in just a minute. So you can kind of tell that I have three or four hands going right now, just three on the page, and I can come back and make that a work of art. 